Well, this just in at nine, a budget deal has been reached between Virginia lawmakers and Governor Glenn Youngkin. Now, we don't know exactly where compromises were made, but we do know Youngkin has been pushing for no new taxes on Virginia. Democrats are continuing to argue for health care, transportation and higher education. Lawmakers will return to Richmond on Monday to take an official vote. So with that being said, there's a looming question that has nagged them for months now. Will these slot-like gaming machines known as skill games remain illegal at convenience stores across the Commonwealth? Our Northern Virginia reporter Max Marcilla joining us live tonight from our Chantilly Bureau. And Max, there's a movement just underway to urge the governor and lawmakers to bring back these skill games. That's right, Chris, and hundreds of convenience stores across Virginia will implement their own ban, stopping the sale of Virginia lottery tickets. It's a move that they hope will put pressure on the political players who are in charge of the fate of these skill games. Walk into Greenwood Grocery and Deli in Winchester and you'll see snacks, drinks and food. And now this sign Thursday afternoon, the start of a self-imposed ban on Virginia lottery ticket sales, a sign of protest as these skill game machines sit in the dark at convenience stores across Virginia. If we don't have skill games, we might have to shut down the business. So if we shut down the business, the lottery's not going to have revenue. And Kit Patel runs the Winchester store. He says stopping the sale of lottery tickets is a symbolic and financial act. Statewide Virginia stores sell over $12.5 million of lottery tickets each day. That's more than $2 million in proceeds. We want to hear back from the governor as well as the General Assembly on what they have been, what they have planned for the small business owners. These machines expose children to gambling and they prey on vulnerable communities. As we've previously reported, there is opposition to the skill games, despite small business owners claims that they were a lifeline during COVID, with some raising concerns that includes Vail United Methodist Church Pastor Jeffrey Haw, who we spoke with last month. So it really ends up being a, a tax on the poor who, who can't afford it. Now, as the fate of the machines remains up in the air, there's new pressure on the lawmakers preparing to head back to Richmond for a special session next week. It's not clear how long this boycott could last. It's also not clear if the governor's proposal has enough support to pass. That proposal was controversial, came out about a month ago, and in the governor's amendment, it essentially allows these skill games, but only in very specific scenarios. They can't be within 35 miles of a casino and can't be within about a half mile of the school or a house of worship. Again, lawmakers go back to Richmond next week. Reporting live from our Chantilly Bureau, Max Marcella, DC News Now.